Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, there is more available for you today, for I desire for you to be full of my spirit, submerged in my spirit, led by my spirit, empowered by my spirit, comforted by my spirit, purified by my spirit, transformed by my spirit and reminded about me as my spirit reminds you of my words and my actions and my desires upon the earth. There is so much more for you to experience, but you need new wineskin to receive the new wine and oil that is about to be poured out. Yes, I desire for you to go deeper into the wells of my glory that you have never experienced before. Waves and waves of my glory that will start to come upon the earth as my spirit is poured out in a greater measure. My child, for what is about to transpire will revolutionize the way you see and do things as a remnant church moving forward. For seasons are about to change, and you are about to enter a new season in era of my church age that will usher in the snatching of my bride. Therefore, as you seek me today in prayer, share your burdens to me today, my child. Share them today, both spiritual and physical. Yes, my child, just be honest with me. Ask of me to reign in you, in your home, and in your world. My spirit will be present with such power in the days to come that I will start to use the ordinary so that they will start to do the extraordinary under my glory. Open your hearts this day for a greater measure of my spirit that I wish to pour out upon all flesh, my child. You must prepare to and learn to walk in the spirit more like never before, my child. Yes, it is my desire for my spirit to breathe upon you once again. Yes, I desire for my spirit to breathe upon the valley of dry bones that you have once walked out of and that you're still coming out of because I will breathe upon you and every area will be brought back to life. Every area will be revived. I wish to restore you, reposition you, reinstate you to where I want you. I will dig up and bring to pass those hidden dreams, those past dreams that you've had. They will be fulfilled in the coming days. Therefore, desire more of me in this hour. Desire intimacy. Desire my spirit. And I will pour out. I will satisfy. I will pour water onto the dry. And those that are thirsty, are you thirsty today for my spirit? Do you long for more of me today? I will pour out my spirit. I will touch you today. I will fill you. I will satisfy that very need within your soul that only I can satisfy. Therefore, call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things for which you did not know. Get ready, my child. Pentecost is coming once more. Yes, I'm about to do something new. And you've got to trust in me within this hour. For my ways are not your ways. Know that I am for you. Know that I am with you. Be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says according to Hosea 6 verses 1 to 3. Come and let us return to the Lord, for he has torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us, and on the third day, he will raise us up, that we may live in his sight. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. For he will come to us like the rain, like the latter and the former rain to the earth. Get ready, for it has started, precious saints. And you are about to be blown away by God's mighty outpouring that's coming upon the church. See, great spiritual awakenings have swept the world over the centuries. They have changed lives and they have even changed the very culture in which we live. 
An awakening is a special time when God comes down and saturates a place and a people with his presence. There is a final great awakening coming before the rapture of his bride. And it will be bigger. It will be greater than anything that we have seen before. And he has gone from the pulpit to the pew and will use those that have true humility as he is a God that will exalt the humble and humble the exalted. It is a call for all to arise and shine so that he may be exalted through our lives. Your hunger through deep repentance will determine our visitation that we will become habitations of his glory. It is time to encourage the body of believers to arise and shine and to learn to walk in the spirit as earthen vessels ready to carry his glory upon the earth. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. It is time to encourage the body of believers to go deeper in order to go higher by the Spirit of the living God. Psalm 42 verse 7 says, Deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and your billows are gone over me. It is in time to encourage the body of believers that they are to be patient to hunger and expect for a greater latter outpouring of his Holy Spirit than we have ever seen or heard before. Where the former and the latter reign meet together to fulfill prophecy in in scripture and to show the father's last act of mercy before his bride is raptured while in the grace age that we're still currently in we're about to transition saints we're about to transition into a new season into a new era for the church of Jesus Christ it is time for you to get excited it's about pressing in and saying God I want more of your spirit whatever you're doing in this hour don't do it without me God don't do it without me don't pass me by I want to be part of this end time move of God where God is looking for willing vessels just like you just like me he wants to grab the ordinary and do extraordinary things he is looking at you precious saints if you will look beyond what is happening around the world and you'll look with your spiritual eyes and you'll say god i long for more of you i want another pentecost to come upon us as your church let us pray precious saints heavenly father in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ oh holy spirit beloved of our soul we adore you, enlighten us, guide us, strengthen us, console us. Tell us what we should do and where, sh where should we go and give us your orders. We promise to submit ourselves to all that you desire of us and accept all that you permit to happen within our lives. Let only your will be done in our lives. Heavenly Father, today I come before you as your servant and I request and make a special supplication that each person listening be brought before your mercy seat today. Those that are spiritually dry, refresh them. Those that need encouragement, encourage them. Those that are going through trials, help them endure. Those that are struggling with oppression, deliver them and set them free today. Those that are bound by sickness, heal them. And those that need to encounter your love, fill them again, fresh with your pure love. Pour out your Holy Spirit on all those that truly hunger and thirst for your righteousness today. Bring a time of refreshing to every weary soul that needs a touch of your presence. For you said in your word that whoever drinks of your water will never ever and shall never ever thirst again. And that rivers and fountains shall spring up from within them that will satisfy. Lord, those that are struggling to stay on the narrow path of righteousness, send your ministering angels to bring the, your big forth the fruits of your spirit to encourage them to stay on the path that leads to righteousness those that need deliverance deliver them today by the authority of your son Jesus Christ especially those that have been in bondage for a lifetime in secret and those oppressed within the night have mercy upon them O Lord 
touch them today and pour out your anointing that breaks the yoke of bondage today in the name of Jesus Christ. Make them rapture ready, Lord, that they may partake of your glorious wedding feast of the Lamb. Oh, Holy Spirit, we thank you for what you're doing in this hour and for what you're going to do with each person in this day. Help them to see you more clearly, to recognize your movement in their life. Help them Lord, help them more to be sensitive to you. Lord, that we can follow you more closely. Lord, we know, Lord, that at times we can be selfish and rebellious and we need you to help us to be obedient. And when we recognize your leading, we need you. And we ask of your help to comfort us today. Help us to walk in you, the Spirit of God, to grow good fruit in our lives. You are the one who produces these in us, the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. We cannot live out these things on our own. We need your presence. Lord, I pray for your glory to come now and touch your people today that desire a fresh touch. Come and satisfy them, but only your glory can satisfy them. Lord, the Bible says we've all sinned and fall short of the glory. But when we repent, your glory returns. Oh, Holy Spirit, we pray right now. You will pour out your spirit upon each person listening today. Refresh them, revive them, restore them. Open their spiritual eyes that they may see with the spiritual senses of discernment within this hour. Lord, we are living in the end times. We are living in a time, Lord, that you have spoken about in your word. But Lord, even in the time of distress, Lord, the Bible says those that have their name written in the book of life, they shall be delivered. They shall be healed. They shall be revived. Oh, Lord, revive your people today. Touch each person that is longing for more of you, Lord, more of you and less of us in this hour. Come and touch them in Jesus mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. Praise God. And I also have some words here. There is someone that has a blood clot, a blood clot in your body anywhere right now. I want you to place your hand upon that area of your blood clot right now and receive your healing right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Anybody that has cancer in their body, I want you to place your hand upon that area of your body right now and I curse that cancer inside of your body and I command that that cancer that spirit of infirmity to come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ I I just come against anybody that needs healing from congestive heart failure Lord I pray for healing in that area of heart failure right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone with the area of stroke, the effects of stroke on your body, I want you to claim it for your loved one or place that hand upon the area of the effects of, of the stroke upon your body. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also want to pray for someone with fibroids, if that is you today, claim your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody with a stomach that is bloated, I want you to claim your healing now by placing your hand upon your stomach right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing, your creative healing right now in the name of Jesus. I also speak bowel problems. Anybody with bowel problems, place your hand upon your stomach right now and receive healing in that area right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also pray for someone with a broken nose. I pray a creative miracle to come as you place your hand upon your nose. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your nose will come back into the perfect alignment of God through a creative miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come upon them, come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against uh, anyone that is going through seizures. Maybe you've got a loved one that's having seizures or epilepsy. We are praying for complete healing in that area in the name of Jesus Christ right now. I pray for someone that has that carpal tunnel 
in their hands right now. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you will receive your healing right now and the fire of the Holy Spirit will come upon your hands right now and bring healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for anybody that has pain in their body. Maybe you have pain in your body, wherever that pain, pain, pain is right now, I want you to stand to your feet if you can, stand to your feet and receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every pain to leave, every spirit of infirmity to leave, be healed today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. And I also see, once again, I keep on seeing that there is going to be a flood of people that are going to start to come from outside of Africa into the revival that's going to be taking place in Africa. And I believe as I'm seeing people even start to trickle in on this South African revival meeting in August at the Birchwood Hotel. So once this thing kicks off, there will be people coming from everywhere. There's already people coming from within the continent of Africa, but there's going to be people that will start to trickle in from all over the place so get ready to see that also for those that God is calling God will make a way for you where there seems no way in Jesus name Lord I pray for all those people that I can start to see these planes that are going to start to trickle in because see when 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 that dream was given recently about me on a plane and this revival taking place on the plane that represents international this this revival is going to travel so don't, don't just wait for me to come to your nation if you have the resources to actually get where the flowing you've got to go where the river is flowing you could be partaking of that taking it back in back to your nation to also kick it off over there also so may the lord bless each person that is preparing to come may god give you provisions may god make a way for you where there seems no way now this revival that is coming is going to be terrifying in a sense because it's going to be at a level of glory that you cannot play around with. This is not a matter. This is a very sacred thing. This is a very holy thing that is coming, precious saints. So I encourage you, for you as you participate, as you desire this to come to your nations, to your family, to yourself, remember it's going to be a terrifying thing because it's going to bring order back into things. It's a fearful thing also. The fear of the Lord is coming back to the church in this hour. So I just pray today that the Lord will bless those that are preparing to come because God is going to make a way in Jesus' mighty name. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Repentance Revival in Australia. It is time to catch the five Repentance Revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Also, follow one of our WhatsApp groups if you haven't already for your nation so that we can connect, so that we can get a group of people in your nation already. So when we decide to come, there's already a body of people that are following specifically from your nation. So may the Lord bless you as you join that also. We've got the four day fasting coming up at the end of this month, precious saints, so we can get on fire for God, so we can start to travail, so that we can start to uh, travail and intercede without ceasing to prepare for what is coming upon the earth within this hour. For those that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church in this hour. This level of revival that is coming, it's coming to do away with the compromise that many people associate with revival today. This is going to be pure. This is going to be holy. This is going to be free of charge. God will bring the provision. God will make a way for everything where there seems no way in this hour. So I just encourage you to join everything that we're doing, even the Corporate Friday Fast every week, and continue to press in and believe that God has got a plan for your life and for your family 
in Jesus' mighty name. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.